when I buy a new suit for myself, I like to kind of test out the fabric and kind of see what it's good for and what it's not good for. So I came up with a couple basic tests I like to put all my new garments through. So one is a stain proof. No. Two is good for practicing karate. Ha! Yes. Finally, can't stop bullets. Don't worry, winter's coming. I was planning on wearing this with a some sort of coat over it anyhow. And speaking of coats, there's a lot of different types of outerwear that performs different functions. So I wanna quickly run through the different types of outerwear and in terms of dressiness. So the dressiest type of coat out there would be a full length top coat. It goes all the way down below the knees. You wear it over a suit or a sport coat, very dressy looking. And it's wonderful for those really, really cold days if you're traveling to a really, really cold place. Slightly more casual than that would be something like a car coat. A car coat doesn't come quite to the knee, slightly more casual, but still very easy to wear over a sport coat or a suit. Then even more slightly than that would be like a, maybe like a raincoat. So I'm wearing a raincoat today. Um, again, slightly more casual, but it can still be worn over a suit or a sport coat. The key with wearing jackets over a suit or a sport coat is you want to make sure your outerwear is covering or goes past the length of your suit jacket or sport coat. It looks really weird if the jacket doesn't quite cover the garment underneath it. Then moving even more casual than that, you're in like tea coats or bar coats. Those are more meant to like take the place of a sport coat. So still what looks great with jeans or maybe even dress pants, but not much more dressy than that. Finally, even more casual than that, you're now in the realm of like, I don't know, bomber jackets, which are really just meant to be worn with jeans, maybe casual pants. And then after that, it's like windbreakers. Hmm, I wonder if it's fireproof.